I feel I'm down the bar. I've been around a while. I couldn't find a girl, so I'ma stick to him. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ninja here with our week three battle in the IBL, and I am less than thrilled. Um, not gonna lie, we're zero two minus three to start the season. Last, I feel like first week I definitely threw that game. Lamar played well, but I definitely threw the game. Second week, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just kind of came down to the wire, and I don't know. Maybe I just missed a play or missed a move. I don't know. Gunshot missed. I think that's what happened. I don't remember, honestly. I don't really remember too well. But we're here for week three. And this is probably the scariest team I think we've gone against. So, I built my team kind of weird this week. Um, not sure how to feel about it. <laughs> Nobody in my front office wanted to build with me this week, so... I'm just like, done! I just saw sort of battle will end because someone ended communication. Okay, what the frick? Oh, okay. Alright, so, um... I make cut, and we go back. Ready? Alright, guys, we are back! <laughs> you forgot to place team in the battle box, so that's funny. I have 15 minutes of footage, and I'm pretty sure I've only been recording for, like, two and a half minutes. <laughs> like, I've recorded for 15, but, like, I only have... This video's only got, like, two and a half So, quick quick actual recap of the squad. I have no remem remembrance of what the heck I'm bringing. I'm bringing Mega Absol. I'm bringing No Name Our Mesprit, uh, Bulky. We're bringing Pre Marina, uh, Modest Attacking, uh, kind of bulky. Mojo Jojo with a Choice Band, um, Garchomp with a Choice Scarf, and we have Golbat with Defog, Brave Bird, Super Fang, and Roost, and Bulky as well. There was something that messed up my entire team, and I don't remember what. Mega Aerodactyl. That thing fists me. I brought Sucker Punch and Absol. I brought Mock Punch because I needed the ban. Like, I'm just, I get feasted by that thing, so wish me the best of luck in this match. If he doesn't bring Mega Aerodactyl, bro, I will be, I will fall out of my chair. We're gonna do Maxi and Archie. I miss their music. I love the theme song they did for Rainbow Rocket, so. Also, I put on the nappy hoodie today, so let's, something comes out of it. I kinda wanna leave it at Absol, keeping it 100. Brought jealous. Oh, really? oh, we're good. We, we actually might win this game now. Oh my gosh. He didn't break the big Aerodactyl. Wait. I brought a choice card for nothing. Oh, I'm sad. He brought Bruxters. He brought everything weak to dark. Wait. What was weak to play rough? Why did I break play rough? He had something that fisted my team that had play rough. Hold on. Or that was weak to fairy. Hold on. Hold on, he messed up! I'm mad! Because on one side, I'm really happy he didn't bring Aerodactyl, but on the other, he brought like the one thing I want. I brought that player of tech for like two or three things! He didn't bring either of them! He doesn't have a Defogger! Yes, he does, he has Mew. He has a Rapid Spinner, though. Lee? Doesn't Lorantis get Defogged? Who are we playing? We're playing the Seattle Scissors. Go show my dude some love, by the way. He didn't bring Como! Or Umbreon! Or Grable! Yo, I was, I was so nervous for this game for all of those Pokemon. Yo, what do I lead with? I wasn't prepped for this. Yo, what do you lead with? I feel like you lead with Mew. Do you lead Mew? You 100% lead Mew. You have to lead Mew. You have to lead Mew. I didn't bring U-Turn on Mojo Jojo, I don't think. Did I bring U-Turn on Mojo Jojo? Because if so, I'm leading with that thing. I did not. Alright, we're good. I'm so nervous for this game, guys. Oh, Lord Biggest! Okay, Chaos. Let's get it. Let's get it. Who do you lead with? Who do you lead with? We're faster than it, I think. Donko? Oh, son of a gun! 
Gosh dang it. This thing might be bulky. Hold on. This thing might be bulky rock setter. Bulky rock setter? Are we? Bulky rock setter, are we? What the? What the? What is this? What the? What the? What is this pixel crap? Wait! Hold on! I don't want to read this! There we go! Earthquake kills it! <laughs> life orb. But why? I don't think you're life orb. I don't think you're real. I don't think you're real with a life orb. I still die. Like, I can't. Oh, wait, what am I doing? My switching for this is messy. Every time. Right? E. 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 We don't have to worry about D-dancing mess uh, thingy, my bobber. We don't have to worry about setup. Yo, the team is good. We might actually do good. EQ. Oh, we got. I just played that like a fiddle. Mammo swine. Wait, um, are you not the. Uh, well, I just put Mammo swine. I meant to put Earthquake. Okay, hold on. Maybe I need to chill. I need chill. Thank you, Mr. Cow. Do you think? I can click Psychic and do a bunch of damage. I can also go for knockoff and want to hit whatever comes in. He doesn't have anything else to bounce back. Rocks. I really kind of want to get rocks up for the Salazzle, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Salazzle still outspeeds my entire team, so Garchomp with the Scarf is very good. I'm going to go for the rocks here. Him hitting me with an Icicle Crash doesn't do much. Uh, me knocking off any item. Mon that come, wants to come in is really important, though, because he didn't bring his Mega. And he has three things weak to Dark. I don't think he switches out. I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks. He's going to set up his own rocks. That's okay? I don't have a problem with that. Because either way, I'm clicking... I'm going to click Knock Off now. He has Stealth Rock. Earthquake. Again, half his team is weak to that Absol. Half his team is weak to that Absol. See, now Knock Off doesn't do a bunch of damage. Opposed to Psychic, obviously. Because we're bold. Omega? What is that? Lorantis. Okay. What does this thing want to do? Does it no longer have leftovers? What does Lorantis want to do? Is Lorantis a defogger? Oh, Lorantis gets defog. I can click Psychic on it. Wait. Oh, that's a decent damage. I'm going to click Psychic on it. I kind of want to see what it wants to do to me. Does this thing get knockoff? I'm thinking about it. That actually would be bad if it got knockoff. You team Lorantis. Do you get knockoff? You get access to knockoff. I don't want to lose any items. Honestly, if I'm losing an item, it's on Mesprit. But then again... Hold on. If I happen to go into... Actually, losing my choice band isn't the worst thing in the world. Is Inferni actually a really good switch in here? We the storm a bunch. Uh, I have no problem losing that. I have no problem losing my choice band here. He cl I click Flutter Bits, he goes into Jellicent, correct? I want him to defog. I really want him to defog. I want him to defog or click knockoff. Yeah, okay, good. That's fine. That is perfectly okay with me. He no longer has leftovers, so that's good. Okay. Um, my heart's telling me to Flare Blitz, but my mind is telling me to Thunder Punch because his switch into a Flare Blitz is jealous. Every day of the week. And if I can hit that thing really hard right now, for, ah, dang it. If I was bandaged still, that would have been lit. Uh, I'd rather hit it with this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click Thunder Punch. I'm going to make a bold prediction. He goes out into Jellicent. If he doesn't go into Jellicent, Thunder Punch still hits everything. I don't see him going into Mammo Swine here because we do outspeed. Um, and he switched to move, so he's not Scarfed, which honestly would scare my team. A Thunder Punch, 
and he has no reason to switch into Salazzle because if I do Flare Blitz, um, if I do Flare Blitz, Salazzle actually gets kind of rocked. But he gets switched to Salazzle anyway because Thunder Punch kills, uh, basically kills it. I'm Iron Fist boosted. He stayed in. Why? Why are you staying in? We got the pair, but why are you still in the game? He went for dual knockoff. Why would you do that? What the? I'm gonna go for Flare Blitz. Why are you still here? Or do I mock punch? No. I'm gonna Flare Blitz. Cause he might predict that now. Like that's so weird to me. I don't know why he stayed in and went for knockoff. My switching isn't messed right here. Why did he stay in? Oh, boggles my mind. Over predicting. I mean, I kill this thing, but that's frustrating. I took unnecessary damage, but whatever, whatever, whatever. So, uh, um, Lorantis, uh, Inferni, Infern, it kills Lorantis with Flare Blitz. Okay. Well, that thing's dead. I don't know if I this is me being stupid. Like, what am I reading here? Less is Defogger. So, if I get rid- Oh, well, Muse is Defogger as well. What is this? Do I need... I don't think I need this thing anymore. I lied. I definitely need this thing for the Mammoth Swine. Um, this thing is still ma maybe life form. I strike this 18 to 22. We're sitting at a powerful 60. After Brock's, we'll go down to... I believe this. So we'll live. Anyone hit? Okay. I think I need to switch out. I think I need to go into goal bat and get rid of these rocks. Versus Salazzle. I'm not specially invested, so that's what the problem is here. That's literally my only issue. Um. After a nasty plot, a fire blast kills me. Garchomp outspeeds resist both. He doesn't have a levitator. He doesn't have much that really wants to take an EQ. I think Garchomp's right play. But if he has HP ice, that would suck. If he goes for that now. Would he though? Would he be that bold? What about Mesprit actually? Now that I'm thinking about it. Mesprit has bulk behind it. Not weak to rocks. Um, at plus two, a fire blast kills me. I'm gonna go into Mesprit. If I'm playing it safe here, just go for a nasty plot. I still have Garchomp in the back that can just click Earthquake. We're at full HP, so fire blast doesn't do a whole bunch. Sub. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Substitute at leftovers. Cause I still I break this sub with a um with a psychic, so I'm just gonna go for that. Oh, I can healing wish Inferno still sludge wave. Uh, we eat that. No poison, please. Thank you. Goodbye, substitute. I can't let him go for another substitute. I'm not sure how much HP I have left, actually. I missed that. 96. Oh, I'm definitely living the next hit. Um, a Fire Blast does more, so uh, at 107, I believe he has a chance to kill me with a Fire Blast. He does not. I click Psychic, I don't care what he switches into. I do not care. Okay, you have two mods that could take this. Which is fine, because I can knock off the following turn. Which is still fine! Guys, in the draw. That's smart. It's a smart play. Donko? What is that? The Mammoth Swine. Okay, Mammoth Swine's actually gonna take a decent chunk from this, I believe. That's a real decent chunk. Do I click it again? Do I click it again? Mammoth Swine? What's your. What's your. Uh... Mam-o-swine? 
That did a lot, actually. That did a really good chunk. I'm gonna go for it again. You don't kill me with an icicle crash from this range. We're bulky. Icicle spear. I think that's even better, actually. Just hit twice. Just hit twice and we're good. Gucci. Goodbye. I think you're dead. I think this thing's dead. Let's get it. Icicle spear. Yo, shout out to no name getting a kill. Mesprit kills Mammo Swine with Psychic. Okay, so, 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 we have Healing Wish still in the back. Um, which is something to consider. Jealousy Mew Bruxish Lorantis. I'm sorry, Jealousy Mew Bruxish Celeste. Uh, on the low? Garchomp wins this game, if I play this right. Unless Jellison carries Ice Beam, Salazzo carries HP Ice, Garchomp kinda wins the game. Gotta get things low enough, Ice. Bruxish. I'm actually hitting this thing. No, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually scared of this thing, because it gets Crunch. Crunch does 58 to 69. I don't have enough HP for that. I see no reason for him to not click crunch, but if you're swords dance and you click swords dance here, I lose because of aqua jet. And I would prefer not to do that. So, I'd rather just click the knockoff now, mega evolve my Absol and go for it, even if we die. I'd rather do that. Yeah, I'd rather do that. That's, that's, that was, a, I'm sorry, that was a way better option. Mesprit dies to Bruxish Crunch. Okay, I go into Absol. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not Life Orb, so that's nice to note. Also really nice to note. I'm pretty sure everything dies to a knockoff at this point. And even if you're not Life Orb, even if you're Bandit. Whoa, wait. Yeah, choice band. You'd have to be locking a crunch right now. And your scarf, that sucks. Aqua Jet's not doing too much to me. I go for knockoff. I don't even risk I don't risk the sword dance, I don't risk any of that crap. I just click knockoff. Everything else is weak to dark at this point. And Salazzle dies to one. The only problem is we don't have speed Absol or er, er, Salazzle. And Salazzle kills us. Jellison and Mew are kind of an issue. But they're not a crazy big issue. Actually, I'm curious. Without a nasty plot. Do you kill me? Without SD here, I would have won. We don't die too many HP ice from Salazzle. Without a sword dance up, or without um um a uh, nasty plot up, that'd be that'd be huge. Knock off, goodbye? Question mark. Knock off. Here comes the salazzle. Does he sub? Is he real in subs? He's saying substitute and sludge wave. Um, a sludge wave to an Absol, to my Absol specifically. 75 to 88. Which I'm pretty sure we're at 88 right now. We're at 87. Um, has a 12% chance to kill the rocks. I kill with a knockoff from this range. But I can't, I can't risk, I can't risk him setting up a substitute. Fire Blast would kill me. Sludge Wave. We actually have a strong chance of living this. He's not Life Orb. God. Freaking gosh. With Black Sludge. Oh, you were Black Sludge, not Leftovers. I didn't even peep that. But I mean, it doesn't matter either way. Absol with Knockoff. 
I couldn't let him get a substitute up. Um, I'm assuming Brux just comes in, tries to hit me with a move. I'll aqua Jet. I'm gonna Sucker Punch. I feel like that I have to. I have to make that play. Because even if you Swords Dance, it's not a big deal. Goodbye. Axel's a monster. And then Jellison comes in. Um, this thing lives a knockoff, sadly. Um, 50% chance to Oko after rocks. Hold on. Yo, can we get a high roll, please? <laughs> this is a max defense bold one, so it might not be that. Alright. Yay! Absol, you god! Absol kills, uh, uh, Jellicent with knockoff. Yo, I didn't even need Sword Sands. Okay, so I prepped that team because I really expected Como and Granbull to come. And he didn't bring either of them. So, like, Granbull... Uh, uh, mm. He wants to know my, my, my spread. He wants to know the spread. The absolute spread. Let me, uh... Let me see. Let me show him. Import, export, copy. Bang. Bang. Enough speed to outspeed things like Mew, I believe. A max speed Mew. I think that was the set I ran. Yeah, I literally had enough speed. No, that wasn't the spread. What did I run, run to outspeed? What was on his team that I needed to outspeed? I want to have a little quick chat. Because like that was a big win. Because now we're positive and differential. Because we 5 0 And then... Um... Here, I'm going to show him my Salazzle calc, and I want him to tell me what's wrong. Or what I see wrong. This is what I see. Where are you, modest? Just curious. I want to know if he's modest or not. Because I definitely had a chance to live that. I'm very curious to see. I'm going to save it because we have to give the replay. If he's modest, that changes everything. Okay, so he was calculating it's a naive set, and I was in a negative spadef nature. So that's why he got a different calc than I did. Because I had 75 to 88, and I was at 127, which is 87. So he got a higher roll, like a really high roll, because he brought me down to 7 HP. So that was an 83 roll. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. I was talking to him. I'm surprised Gramble didn't come. Gramble literally walls Absol. It walls Chomp if I don't have Poison Jab. But after Intimidate drop, Poison Jab's not doing a whole bunch. I carried it. But that's insane. I still have Primarina, I think, in the back. I had a lot of Mons that I still had that I was really shocked. It was a fun game. I, I enjoyed it. I don't know about his side. Um, I do feel that he played... He played the best that he could for what he had. I think that my um, my Mesprit killing his Mamoswine early really hurt him. 
and my um my infernate body Lorantis without defog so it really gave me an edge because i was able to knock down salazzo really really low and i was definitely able to knock down i was able to just body bruxus jelson and mew at that point so absolute picking up four kills mesper picked up a kill and infernate picked up a kill and yuri las vegas galley just picked up their first win of the season one and two i think we're plus we were minus three but it was a 5-0 plus two now differential But, GG to Little Bingus, go check it out. Links are always down below to every coach, unless I don't know it. I'm pretty sure I got all the coaches down there. I'm gonna get it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, like button, subscribe. Oh my gosh. I'm just happy to get that first win under, out of the way so we can continue to try to we, thrive. Let's ride this wave. And we are taking on. Who are we taking on next week? Who are we taking on next week? Who are we taking on next week? We are taking on. Odds in the Memphis b -Wiz. I am hyped. Yo, let's get it. Let's get it. Um, so I'm actually extremely excited for that game. You guys have no idea. I'm really hoping. Ah, uh, these next few weeks are actually really exciting. I play the Houston Hardens. I play Lawrence Talonflames. I'm excited for that battle. Um, I'm really excited to play Kurt in week seven. Um, I think I play, I think I play Dark Devil in week eight. That's exciting. And then we get back and then I think we get our division games out of the way again. Wait. Yes, I get my rematch with the Minnesota Monfernos, which I am... No, I played the Miami Infernos. No, I don't get a rematch with them. I'm sorry. I apologize. Beep, beep. Beep. Play the Infern... Uh, we play the Metagross. We play the Monfernos. And then we get a... Game against the... The season's weird. I really like it. I really like that we get to play Kurt later in the season. I'm excited to play Kurt. I'm excited to play Oz next week. These are good friends of mine. Dark Devil, I'm really excited to battle him. Um, I've seen how he plays. I'm actually really dope. I'm going to do a lot of tape. I'm lucky going to sit down and do a butt ton of tape on uh, on my guy, uh, who I play week 5, Houston Hardens, because I play him in two weeks, so I'm going to sit there and tape the crap out of it. I want to actually watch and see how he plays, I haven't watched anything that the man does, but kill like button, subscribe to new, Tim Nation, from whatever nation, we got a dub, I'm out.